Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel for another unboxing video. Today we are unboxing Metacom Toy Bebrick Flora 1000%. This is my first Bebrick video on the channel. I started collecting Bebricks since 2011 with a 100% series that they come up with every six months. And you can see some of my 100% collections up there in the top right. And gradually I started also collecting 400% which are the bigger ones in the back. And then I also in recent years got a couple of 1000% which is the biggest size that they have normally other than the special edition that's like 5000%. So I got a 1000% Dark Knight Joker, as well as a 1000% Jackson Pollock Splash. So when I, for this one, the Flora design, when I saw the um, promo pictures, they really caught my eyes. I'm really into the floral design on Bebrigs. Several years ago, there's uh, another Japanese photographer, Minka Ninagawa. She designed several of the floral fabrics that I collected at 400% size. And then when I saw this one, I really, really liked the design of it. So I decided to get it, especially now the yen exchange rate is pretty favorable to Canadian dollars. So for sure, uh, the price is good relative to what it used to be a couple of years ago. So yeah, uh, on the front of the box, we see the general design of the Bebrick, but for sure uh, when we open the Bebrick out, it, it's much more than this, so uh, stay tuned. And the technique that they use for these Bebrick is called hydro dipping technique. So while the general pattern is the same for each Bebrick for the floro, uh, Flora 1000%, each Bebrick will be unique because the uh, location of the print will be different for each Bebrick. So yeah, I'm looking forward to opening this up and see how mine looks like. So yeah, without further ado, let's take the bear out of the box. Here's the bear out of the box. And I have to say, in my 11 years of collecting Bebricks, this has become my favorite bear in my collection. As you can see, the most unique design of this bear is the belly portion, where there's a transparent belly with roses inside. This looks very elegant and artistic. It looks even better in person than in pictures. Uh, so for sure, this was the main selling point that made me get this bear. This is a collaboration between Metacom Toy and a couple of Japanese artists named uh, Mames, M-A-M-E-S. They're not super well known at this time, so that's probably why the price of this is still very reasonable. I don't know when Metacom Toys collaborate with more famous brands or artists, they charge more for her licensing fees. So yeah, I'm glad that the design looks very nice and it wasn't from some very expensive designers. And at the recent Metacom Toys Exhibition 2022, they unveil a new flora design. So this one is the Red Roses is the one that I have in front of me. And the next one will be White Roses. And then the bear will have a butterfly patterns instead of the flower patterns on the head and the limbs. That one looks very nice as well. That will be my next target when it goes on pre-order at some point. And hopefully with the Canadian dollars to yen exchange rate, the way it is, hopefully it will stay that way when the pre-order comes along for the White Rose Flora. So yeah, I'm a huge fan of this series. If this is going to become a new series, so for sure there's someone. It's a series that I will be very interested in collecting. Hopefully uh, the exchange rate will co continue to cooperate and not become unfavorable in the future. And so before we take a closer look, one thing I want to point out is, so since end of 2021, uh, Metacom Toys started doing this um, 
certificate of authenticity or genuine product tag on Bevrix now. So all the new Bevrix starting from late 2021 should have this tag somewhere on the bear so that you can use the hidden tag app to scan for the authenticity. So my previous bears of my Joker, Jackson Pollard, both of them didn't have this tag. And for the flora, this is my first one that have this tag underneath. Right. Camera focus right here. So I haven't done the scan yet, but uh, this tag will show the authenticity of the bear. So yeah, that's pretty nice. Uh, I know there are lots of counterfeit products for different hype items. So this gives the, if people are reselling, it gives the people good peace of mind. So yeah, let's take a closer look at the bear. Here we have a closer look of the bear. And as I mentioned, because they use the hydro dipping technique to print uh, the patterns on the bear. So even though the flora design is the same for each fabric, the location of the print will be different. And for the one I got, the two flowers are at a spot that looks almost like the bear's eye. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I know the printing is completely random for each pair, but uh, the one I got looks pretty cool with the location of these two flowers. So I'll be interested to see what other people got and where their prints and patterns are located. And then as we go lower, this is the main attraction of this fabric. You can see the um, words fabric flora on the chest and then inside we have the red roses. It looks very, very nice and elegant. It looks very much like an art piece. I'm not a big flower person myself in terms of actual flowers, but uh, I'm a big fan of this design of red roses. Here's the bottom part of the bear. And then if we turn the bear around, let's see. Here is the back of the head with the um, flowers printed there and then we have the roses that's we can see from the back and then the rest of the lower body so yeah, I think the roses are very well made it looks very real, even though I'm not a flower expert, but uh, the red roses looks very nice. Here is my floral fabric collection. In front of the 1000% floral fabric are my five Mika Ninagawa floral fabrics. They were also as a set of 400% and 100%. Uh, Mikani Nagawa also had a red roses design that you see in the middle, as well as a mix of different colors of roses and also a nighttime Sakura and a daytime Sakura design. I'm a huge fan of these floral designs for sure. They look very nice as a display piece at home. For the five Mika Ninagawa fabrics, I used to display them in my family room shelf. And then my baby learned how to crawl and learn how to throw my things on the ground. So for safety reasons, I have to put them back in the boxes for now. 
Hopefully, in a couple years, he will learn to listen to me and not destroy my things. But、um, until then, my valuable toys will be either back in the boxes or safely in this room that he cannot come in. So, yeah, hopefully, I can、uh, display all my floral barracks together like this again in the future once、uh, he learns how to. Take care of things, but for now, I'll just have to take these out to look at once in a while and、uh, appreciate them. Yeah, so I didn't do a video on the five Mikaninagawa fabrics before, so maybe we'll have a look at them here as well. Here we have the one hundred percent Mikaninagawa red rose. And then behind that we have the four hundred percent red rose, and then behind that we have our new one thousand percent floor fabric. So you can see the size differences between the one hundred percent, four hundred percent, and one thousand percent bears. For Mika Ninagawa's red rose, the red looks like a different shade of red from the flora red roses. But they both look very nice. On the left, we have a mix of different colors of roses. I'm not a roses expert, but、uh, assuming roses have many different colors, Metacom Toys will likely have a long line of flora fabrics coming out. So after this red rose, they have the white roses plan. And just looking at this bear, I see maybe. Five or six different shades of colors of、uh, roses, so I'm sure Metacom will likely continue the Flora series with different roses, and I'm guessing eventually different types of flowers. So, looking forward to what kind of designs they'll come up with. And then on the left, we have I'm not quite sure what kind of flowers this is, but、uh, it's very blue. Looks very nice. Then on the right side we have the nighttime sakura and the daytime sakura. So yeah, here is my floral barracks collection. I'm a huge fan of the floral design. Look forward to having more flora barracks in the future, and I'm hoping someday once my Baby knows not to destroy my things. I can display all of this in my family room together. But for now, the flora fabric will be staying in my display room, and the other five Mikaninagara、uh, bears will stay in the boxes for now. And finally, here is how it looks in my display room. Here we have our new 1,000% floral fabric lining up alongside Dark Knight Joker, as well as the Jackson Pollock Splash. Thanks for watching the video. If you like the content, subscribe and hit the like button. Really appreciate that. And we'll catch you at the next video. Bye.